question? Oh, sure. okay. ask, that, ask that question, madam. What's your why? My why? Your why. For, for what I'm doing? Exactly. For keep going. What's your why? Oh, man. I have a bunch. Um, Top three. The money. One. Okay. <laughs> I got kids. Two. You know, I got to eat. The money. It's, I mean, I think, yeah. But the money didn't th- come first. But you kept going, right? I mean, it's not about the money coming first. The money's the, you gotta you gotta you gotta set the thing up to get the money. Exactly. So, so you kept going. Yeah, because I want the money. So is that, is that one? So give me. So, the, you have your, two more. Your money. And your I mean, kids. look. You know, it's it's yeah. My family. I gotta provide for my family. I gotta take care of myself. Um, it's an opportunity. It's a new industry. Mm-hmm. Um, there's opportunities here that 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 can capitalize off of. Um. You know, one of my favorite books, right? Zero to one. It's about figuring out your market first to market, figuring out your spot in that market. Um, but the money, but I will say like the people who come into the community, building relationships with them helps also because they, there's really let like, some really great people, um, some dope people doing some really big things and I want to see them succeed. I want to see them. I don't want to see them fail. And the community has been a big help to them. Okay. So. Um, but the why is always money. I don't care what nobody say. The why is always money. That's real. <laughs> but you, you, are, you're a pro web designer, programmer. What, what, what do we call? I'm a web developer. Web developer. They do that to get big checks. Like that is normally the reason. Yo, you, you trust me. You don't suffer through that shit to 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 not make little <laughs> to not make money. money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm not upset with that. I just asked that question and I asked if there's any other. Yeah, I mean, but I'm not upset with that one bit because I also. Understand this is a new space. I think, you know, one of the things I've learned and one of the things helped me in this space, I think black people need to get off this stuff. Like, tell it's them, okay baby, to tell say, them. it's okay to be like, oh, I want tell some money. Tell them, tell them. It's okay, you know? That's I mean, real. work I hard for it. I always say, I want the money. I always say that. Pull the table. I always say that. I read it. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think, I don't think there's always one specific, I mean, the money to me is like the number, I mean, we gotta, we gotta survive we gotta in live, this world. Yeah. But I think there's always a, a, other sub sub wise, right? Sub topic wise, mm-hmm. of course, you know, of course, that help motivate too. To um, be comfortable but, making the money does it. It, it but, helps. But also <laughs> entrepreneurship, it's not. For, yeah, that's one thing that really irks everyone. the hell out of me right now. It's like, oh, you should be, you should be an entrepreneur. Like, it's not for everybody. Yeah. You just post that today. Me? I, was that, was that, was I, that my entrepreneurship? Yeah. That was you. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, I saw entrepreneurship come across. Yeah. I thought that was you, Corey. My bad. Nah. I have I've been I've been work, I'm driving all day. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to work for somebody and do the best well, you are and be the best you are at that job. It's not for every. There's not. It's, it's there's personality not types, right? There's somebody pers- got to do it. There's personality types, and if you want to work, like I don't think I think we put too much pressure. And then it's putting too much pressure on people to think that they got to be an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. If you're okay with working, cool. Yes. You know that's what you want to yes. do. That's what you want to do. That's not for everybody. This exactly. this ain't for everybody. No. It's a marathon, man. Yeah, it's a long. This is a lot of dry months. It's a long haul, forever. man. It's a long haul. It's a dry. It's dry, like you stated. It's not. It's not that. Dry. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, <laughs> yo. I like it like this. I missed that one. <laughs> I didn't miss it. She caught me. So I asked if you had a question. Did it sound like you had a question? I mean, I want, I want to know how you guys are doing with your pocket. Like, what's what's the strategy? You know, you know, I can't help. It. I can't. The hat comes on. Like, what are you guys question. doing? Ask the question. What was the one question? What's, what's the what's the what's the goal? What's the goal from here on out? So you know, uh, if you want me to answer, y'all want to answer. No, you got it. Uh, for me, recently, uh, the goal always changes. Like, you know, entrepreneurship is going to always change, uh, especially as the community guides the path their steps but however the goal is to be known at minimum at minimum in the dc maryland virginia and baltimore area as the number one podcast yes. of this that of bug, this area completely at minimum minimum and then then we'll devour nationally yeah. but i want to make sure that from every corner of the surrounding states yeah. and i mean even beyond the city and metro and the metropolis of yeah. these states you talking about metro yeah, yeah we're going to be on the metropolis we're going to hit the, the suburb, suburbs to like literally when virginia borders north carolina yes. where maryland borders west virginia pennsylvania and then we also trickle in philly because philly's coming in so i'm going to lock down locally I love first it. that's the goal and then i feel like the nationals and all and that's happening already yeah. on its own so you and then also another thing is to gain uh, notoriety 
I put I put our, our, our name into some hats. Uh, we got nominated for podcast of the year with the Quill Podcast yes. Awards. Yes, yes. I'm gonna do the TPA, the Podcast Academy. I'm gonna apply to them. You know, so get that notoriety. Yes. Make sure we solidify our market and also utilize our marketing ability to uh, market local companies as yes. well. Have them utilize us as that firm. So we are a media company. We're we're more than just a podcast. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this then, because um, you, you mentioned local, going local first. So basically, you build that means you're building your infrastructure on the local, that those areas you mentioned. Mm-hmm. That's not going to translate to a national platform. It may not. Which is not, which um, you know, it's just not a bad thing because yeah, you, yeah. you can you probably to be more successful doing locally than doing national. Yeah, sure. you know, especially with the resources needed to do and in, in the type of content. It might be in your best interest to say, okay, I'm going to control the middle portion of the East Coast, you know, those middle states. It's the nation's East Coast, capital. You know, and, and just really go hard in that space. Go hard in that space. <laughs> go hard in that space. <laughs> I, I, was, I wanted to give, give an you're opportunity. Trying catch you're trying to catch it. He thought he, he, caught, he caught himself. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you know, and, and just concentrate on that. You know, um, I, you know, I think sometimes when people, when we're talking to these things, they don't, they say, I want to do all of this, right? Yeah. And not realize that sometimes um, being local or targeting a specific niche is really the key to, the key. to success. And you can make a lot of money if you if you execute it. Yes. And you I mean, the, the right Redskins stuff. are here. I think everybody want to know what we're doing Washington Redskins over here. are here. Oh, yeah. I don't know who the Redskins. Oh, he playing. I, I'm, naming, I'm naming businesses. I'm, I don't oh. care about the team. I'm naming <laughs> Washington Redskins, Wizards. They play locally. They gain all that. Not when they're the home. Bullets. Not they the get that attention here. So yeah. my, my main goal is to be as big as those. Imagine Huge. if you love the, the local sports. I love all gas, no brakes. Mm-hmm. much I love the mo- local sports. So without giving you all your Huge. trade secrets, what's the strategy? What's the strategy? Long strokes. Long strokes, always. <laughs> always. You know, I'm a little guy. You know, I, my, my, my stroke game's still killing. So oh, shit. I'm still doing my thing. Sometimes I'm I play with you quite. I do. I jump in there. But uh, so without giving trade <laughs> secrets, I mean it's not a trade secret. Working no. with the local community, local yes. our local market. We recently had a financial firm in our local market, yes. literally a couple blocks from the White House. Pastry. Book us, Pastry Financial. Yes, they book us for interview. Yes, we are branding ourselves as a loca- as a platform for you to market yes. your local business. Yes. to our community. That's it. Okay, so who's your audience? With my audience, uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia uh, residents, and Baltimore. Right. No, we actually nah. outside of that. But also, uh, that's, entrepren- that's too broad. Who's your specific audience? Who's my Us. specific audience? Us. Oh, you got to tell me what you want me to say. Then at that point, because I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not, not going to give you all nah, my nah, you all gotta, my info. I mean, if somebody say what's your audience? You got It's a specific. I mean, I I told you. I think we get to just about anybody, depending on what it is, what the topic is. No, but I'm going to say residents of this of the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area and Baltimore. Mainly. Age. Ages between 18 and 34. 35, okay. yeah. Is that the numbers? That, that's what the numbers are showing you? Yeah. I mean, the numbers do show me that. Yeah. That's what they show. But uh, we dominate between uh, 18 to 24. Okay. Uh, split even between uh, male, female. Well, not really split even. Not 50-50 because nothing's 50-50. And some 50 But more male. Like, oh, Lord. <laughs> keep going, keep going, Corey. You got keep going, man. No, I'm, keep going. I'm not trying to put you on the hot seat. No, no, you're not, you're not, you're not. No, no. I'm, I'm prepared for this. Yeah. This, is, this is what I'm on. This is what you're I, I, I right do. You know, I, I mean, so h- how they, how's they, how are they responding to the content that you guys are putting out? Man, it's growing crazy, crazy. right now. All right, let me ask you: What's your feedback loop? Like, how do you, how do you know what people are saying? What are they, what they, what? They, what they, well, I utilize I, social media, and when we post uh, our content specifically, people will then respond underneath that. Then also, uh, I actually know, I'm one that I attempt to know our listeners, our yes. original listeners. So like I stated one time, I put a a, a, a meme up, or not a meme, but a post, that we had 300 listeners one year. I know all 300 people. Okay. So I asked those same 300 people, what do you like, what, what do you, you don't like, like and then they're telling me. And, and from what they've given me, I've then... Provided that into the show, I've I've, I've embraced and it, grown. and it has grown. And then social media, with the way we do post, the items that we do post, 
it has caused more attention because then people go, I got to check out that podcast. Yeah. What are you guys talking about? Yeah. So that's also a thing. Okay. So right now we have 3.5 million views on Facebook. Uh, we have uh, 6,900 6, followers. When we're at, like Last year it was like 200. 200. So like, literally that's what it grew in like a year. All right. So you got, you got that kind of reach. What are you doing with it? How do you try, how do you how do you translate that those views into subscribers or or um monetize it? So hey, I am actually I, so how I monetize it. Of course, you have to interview with us. That's a marketing pr- promotion. It's a plan. If you contact me, you got a marketing plan with it. So I'm going to charge you for an interview. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then there's a marketing plan associated with that. But that. I say all that to say that's still small fries. Right now, we're going to uh, we're seeking out a marketing, uh, actually a sponsorship manager, currently. Okay. I got one. I got a couple. I know you do. <laughs> I'm talking you, to one you know. Did you speak to them at the, at the conference? Of course, I did. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, I most definitely did. I'm connected right. with a few of them actually. Okay, good. Let me know if you see. Need this, to is you to this is why you got to go to conferences. This is why you got to come. This is why you got to come to Afros and Audio. Let them know, when man. The you, see, you see, you see, you see how he's got he's gave it right now. I'm enjoying this conversation. Uh, the next, it's going actually. We um, uh, he just announced it's going to be in Baltimore again. Again? No, that's the home. It's going to be in Baltimore. It's not going to be anywhere else. It's going to be in Baltimore. always in Baltimore. Wow. Shout out to B more for pulling that off, man. Yes. Baltimore's a fun place. You yeah. have a good time. Yeah, I had a great time. What was your favorite part about Afros and audio? I asked you that question. You put it online. What's your favorite part? My favorite part? I mean, for me, it's getting to be able to see, to meet people in person. Um, I guess my, I'm, I have a different perspective because I'm involved in the process, but um, getting getting to meet, you know, the people who I talk to, you know, regularly on, on Zoom oh, or something, yeah. being able to actually have one-on-one conversations with people. And not in not such a formal way to pick their brains and see what they're talking about, you know, have dinner and, and talk to some of these people and, 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 and negotiate some stuff. Yeah, negotiate. Let me ask you this question. Okay. You you are very you're a very smart guy, but you're able to balance with your, with how smart you are with being actually cool and calm and collect. How how do you balance that shit? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. If anybody on those BCs, they might disagree with you. Nah, um, man. If they disagree with if they disagree with me, you know, unfortunately, they, they they either really really know you more than I do, or they hating. You know what I'm saying? Because you, know, you are able to balance it out. You know, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm I, like I said earlier. You know, some of it's maturity. Some of it's growing up. Um, media training. I've, I've been working okay. on. Um, I've been. I don't have a formal media training, but I I, I do try to learn as much as I possibly can. Um, I've made some mistakes when I first started doing interviews with people and stuff. Your personal person, I've read your personal post, so I can't um, imagine. I'm, no, that's, that's not even. I'm talking about on actual interviews. Oh, so word! I got lit one time. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm getting text messages and people like calling me like, "Don't you ever do that again?" And oh, <laughs> no, nah, but um, but I mean, like I I enjoy what I'm doing, mm-hmm. and yeah. I'm having fun that's and. A big deal. Mm-hmm. As stressful as it is, I'm enjoying it. Yes. I like the challenge of trying to figure out how to solve problems and figure out and how to bridge these gaps that are out there. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm personally, I'm in a, I'm in a good space in my life. Uh, my kids are doing well. Amen. You know, my Congratulations son, my on son that. is old. He's a man now. So congratulations, you know, to your thank son. You. But um, you know, um, just I'm really hyper focused on building this this company. So I'm not going to let anything get in the way of it. And I think by being personable and just being chill and cool, as you say, I don't, th- I just, I don't think I'm cool, but yeah, you cool, man. But, um, just enjoying myself and allowing myself to be who I am mm-hmm. has helped a lot. Beautiful. Being so, like I said, because people are so fake online, they can be so fake and the background is fake and everything else is fake. And, so? they, and, and, and it's and online. Then, and yeah, it's online until it's not <laughs> until you on body cam. <laughs> getting pulled up in the Walmart <laughs> with three warden, warrants and a DUI and your one year old in the back seat so, and, and, and therapy yes, yo yo shout out therapy dog. shout out therapy <laughs> shout out therapy, <laughs> shout out out therapy. not the fishbowl so I'll pull out the fishbowl hey, yeah, fish thank bowl. you for coming through Corey hey. this fish is one bowl. thing we do you put a you put a lot of question here normally we use this to break the ice but I ain't had to break no goddamn ice nah. I know you but I still like to see what questions we get, what answers we get. And then we're going to start getting like ready to it, wind get, down. You can get a different if y'all, yeah. 
Some of them are strange. If all the states in the USA were represented by food, what food would each state be represented by? Oh, my Lord, it's 50 How about states. we pick one state? You pick the state you're from. What would be the food? Pizza. New York is for pizza. The hmm. best pizza. You think so? Who asked, Who said that you think so? I said you think so. Oh, you think no. my voice is It's the best pizza. You, <laughs> you got to put me on a spot, then. I ain't never had a huh? slice You got to put me on to a spot. Definitely. Who your, who, your, who your favorite pizza spot in New York? I don't have a favorite. Oh, that's crazy. All of them is fire. No, not all of them are fire, but I don't have a favorite. I'm always, I'm out, I'm on a, I'm on a quest. Are you a foodie? I'm like David Portnoy. I'm on a quest. Huh? As you amongst foodies. No, nah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man. I like steak and I like what I like. Nah, I'm a foodie. Fuck I'm it. A I'm foodie. a man I like still. I like enjoying food, food but that's I'm not I mean. out here. No, but I'm not out here like. Looking for ooh. it. Let's go oh, to yeah, Shea, yeah. blah, 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 and all that stuff. Now I go to Shea, Shea blah, blah, and I also go to the gas yeah. station that may have the fire-ass <laughs> tacos. I'll try that I shit. I like the pizza yeah. in Baltimore at the corner store. That's only because you haven't had New York pizza. I have had I've New York I've had New York pizza. pizza. Oh, I don't I've had. had. Okay, okay. Wait, I'm, wait, not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, it's not for well, us to. Well, you had it on 34th Street? It's, it's not for us to <laughs> by knock. The, by the Port Authority? It's, it's not for us to knock his pizza's New York. What you got for DC? Or, 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 or BA? Wings and mumbo sauce. Exactly. Wings and mumbo sauce. They said recently somebody exactly. ain't really like the wings and mumbo yeah, sauce. There was definitely a, a food reviewer that yeah. came through and yeah. was hating on everything out here. Yeah. I mean, if you're not from here, you're not going to understand the flavor. McDonald's and also, definitely don't understand the flavor. Do have you had McDonald's sauce? mumbo sauce? No, I have not they had it. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you I have it? On. I sent them a message and screenshotted it. This is trash. Please. Yeah, it wasn't that great. Please you had the mumbo sauce from McDonald's? It, yeah. I don't eat McDonald's. It tastes like vinegar. I've had, I've had McDonald's since like 2011. No bullshit. No, I definitely break down it. No, I can't I eat that shit. I, I can't eat that. That, that, shit, that shit fuck my stomach. I got the oh. app on my phone. Nah, I'm hella I got like points. Seventy seven thousand points. I can't, I, can, I can't do the Mickey D. I can bees. get us all a number one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you a killer. You know you gotta add like three more sit ups to that, right? I do now. <laughs> make it six now. In two, I was, in two squats. So I was gonna say Maryland. We, we said we said fruit. I was gonna say crabs. Crab. But we said fruit. We said you fruit. Said food. Food. It's just it's food. Crab. food. Oh. It's just food. Oh my bad. You know I've been having. Oh no, I said we've been waiting. We've been chilling before you came here. Know, you you yeah. did drive like from know, Zimbabwe that's, out this month. Shout, Shout out to the flight. No pizza. Shout out bring no pizza. No pizza. Look. No, but you said don't have it on thirty. But Maryland was going to be crab. Next time, next time, next time I got y'all. I was going to say crab, Maryland oh, crab. Dang. Maryland is known exactly. for crab. There's no question. We that. all missing the side too. Hilarious. For real. <laughs> In real life, you're wild. You're That's wild. That's crazy. Yo, Corey, thank you for coming through, man. If you can let, hey. let let the let the people know something, like like what? Okay, we said what's next. Uh, anything that we're missing that you want to let your uh the, your fan? I think I guess that. What would you call it? Your 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 members know of what's next or what's coming, what they should be looking out for. I can't talk about that right now. You can't talk about oh, that. I'm working on some things. You pretty oh, much said man. stay tuned. Um, we're positioning ourselves. Oh, they're positioning to be the, themselves to be the to be good, to be great. Ah, uh, to be great. Ah, yeah. uh, but um, uh, I, I, got, I got some meetings coming up that I gotta you know we gotta finalize some things before I can <laughs> talk about them, but. Yes. We're positioning ourselves uh, to be the premier community for Black podcasters. That's so dope. I believe in you. That's but you, so but you dope. are doing it, man. Shout out to y'all. Y'all are doing I it, love man. That. Definitely. And they're doing it because it's it's great. It's Bring a great community. Together. It's a great community. The people are fantastic. I met people that I I never thought I would meet in my life, and yeah. they're very motivational. They're very positive. I'm glad it's gonna be in Bima, so now I ain't gotta worry about having to go wherever to go catch it. I can. I can However. Make the trip. If if they ever do start sending it to other places, I just hope that we choose Jamaica at least one yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. Jamaica will be fire. So, so go international. That's a good. Black Park, wrong with that. You know, to, go, go like, Black like noted. It's noted. You know what I'm saying? Like noted. It's noted. The Caribbean. Yes. Yeah. And then why not Africa? Afro yeah, Why not? You know, people, you know what I'm saying? Why, why yeah. not? I would love that. That would be dope. I'm down. I'm working that on that stuff. Dope. I know you are. So hopefully we'll have. We're not allowed to talk soon. about that. That's top secret. Another, another thing we love to ask uh, people that are on the show, uh, your top three motivators. And well, why? And why? The top three motivators. You mean people? They, they, could, they could be, they influence you. They could be, they have to be podcasters. They could be musicians. They could be G.O.D. And why they influence you. 
Steve Jobs. And why? Because he, he knows how to build a company. Yeah, he had some great. He got some uh, some great stuff. I'm gonna shout out my man Jay. My man yeah, Jay. Shout out Jay. Yeah, he's shout a great out motivator. Jay, yeah. Um, one of the smartest people I know. Okay. All right, all right. He definitely, definitely handles his business. Um, what, 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 what does Jay do? His business. Exactly. What makes you? Yeah, what do he shout do him out? His business. Yeah. Jay, my man Jay is a software engineer and a physicist. Oh, wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, y'all, because you earned it, wow. y'all. <laughs> Shout out to Jay. But, uh, yeah, we balance 265. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, be careful, y'all. Hilarious. <laughs> um, who's my third? Oh man. Damn. I have a lot. Um There's no rules to this. You can put three, four. Yeah. Who I've been uh, listening to lately. Um, uh, I can't answer it for you. Pick a song that motivates you. That's a good one. Song that motivates me. Yes. He motivated. He like he likes movies. You're a movie boy. All right, Mo- movies. Movies motivate you. Motivate me. He's super motivated by movies. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say Godfather one and two. Ooh. Godfather one and two. Yeah. Why I can't watch I can't watch it I can't watch them separately I gotta watch them all together. I, so if I can get my, if I could watch a saga, then yes, then the definitely but the definitely motivated shit is on like a thousand. But yeah. So when you sit down and watch Godfather, you must have one and two. You would yeah. say Godfather. You can't watch over it. Scarface. Yeah. Look how he did. Look, look. I'm not trying to be rude, but yeah, I mean, he ain't like Scarface. He likes Godfather. Do you see how he looked at me? So, so why? <laughs> why? 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 <laughs> Why Godfather one and two? Yes, this this the the Corleone family. They show you how to move. They show you how, they show you like how to do things. And Michael is just a he's just a calculating, strategic beast. Mm. You know, it's, it's more just, of Michael. It's his role. I mean, you know, he he turned the family legit. Yeah, he cleaned up stuff. You know, he just and he ain't nobody mess with him. Yeah. So, so that's okay. I like that. That's a good. We never had nobody do it. A movie answer. And two movies. I one. ain't never seen that jump. You have a question? Whoa, whoa, Mine whoa, whoa, was going to be uh, China Does Dallas, but okay. <laughs> China Does Dallas. <laughs> Corey, man. Did, did you, I, I, I like and, that and, movie. And, and, and do you all have, did you all have any more? The Man of Space. Yes. I don't know. I probably could question you forever, so go to the next person so I can get my thoughts together. How is this the next person and it's just me? <laughs> do you really want me to ask this man a question? Exactly. Yes, we do want to. Are that. you exactly. sure? Exactly. We're sure. We're sure. And then we're going to start getting ready to roll <laughs> out of here. What message do you have for the younger generation coming up as far as becoming a podcaster or a commentator um, just starting out? Oh, man. Oh, uh, fuck. For for the younger generation, you gotta educate yourself. You can't you can't be lazy. You gotta put in, you gotta invest time and money into what you're doing, into your craft. Um, and you gotta be open to criticism. Um, That's a good one. You gotta be open to feedback, even if you don't like it, because a lot of people put a lot of trash out there. So yeah. Um, and a lot of people really shouldn't be doing this, but they do it. So if really I want to do it, no, just people. Just people in general. Yeah, they write things to the podcaster, and they're not. Yeah, that's um, true. That's and, fact. And people might not like, it. but I, I'll, I'll say this: that's you, a fact. You got to educate yourself. You know, once you, uh, my, I always tell people: once you start doing this, once you invest any a dime into it, or you're looking to get money, you become a business at that point. Okay. So you need to start learning how to run a business, how to structure a business, how to set up a business, understand who your your audience is. Yes. How to create good content. Um. You know, the whole the whole gambit. So the only way you can do that is educate yourself. You got to read. You got to invest uh, time into, you know, you can't just do YouTube all day. Uh, you got to get out there in the streets. Sure. You got to you gotta grind. I mean, You got to do work. You, you got to do real work. No. Real work. Oh, so, my Lord. So, <laughs> Jesus. Real, real work. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people hate that word. I but work? But in order to be what you want to be, you got to work. Whatever it is, you got to work. Great, all the great, con- yo, I was watching Mr. Beast. And he people was like, yo. a failure. Yeah. You gotta you gotta be able to scrape your knee and get up. Yeah. yeah. I mean look, you wanna be you wanna you wanna every every content creator that people follow, they they're living and breathing this. So, That's right. That's right. Know. So it's not I it's not it just getting on a mic mic and do and get in front of a camera and all of a sudden you're successful. No, it no. doesn't work that way. It no, it doesn't. It's it more really work doesn't. than that. It's Definitely. more work than that. But then what do you say about those that you say not everybody's a podcaster and then there's also people that are content creators. 
But there's some people that are very popular that you, I don't know that you feel like maybe that person may not be a podcaster, but they have popularity. They gain views. They gain notoriety. What about that? Like, so what makes, what differenti- differentiates a podcaster from someone that may not be a podcaster? That's what I'm, that's my question. A content creator. Some people like to watch a train wreck, honestly. I've seen a lot of train wrecks and mm. people just watch the train wreck and that's what they follow us on. They wait to see this train wreck every single day. Yeah. And then the commentators talk about the train wreck and it keeps the train wrecking. So I, I think for me, it's about the va- like the really good podcasts bring value. Yes. It's either education. It's some kind of value to the, yes. to the audience. And I can't, oh, I don't want to oh, like, oh, I don't want to overgeneralize because each podcast, the people who create them, they know who they're talking to and who they're targeting. Yeah. But, um, like a lot of people don't bring value to their podcast. Mm-hmm. They just think they can just go out here, say whatever they want to say, do whatever they want to do. And you, you've heard me say it. Like I tell people, the podcast is not about you. It's about your audience. Mm-hmm. It's your show, but it's about your audience. Absolutely. If you want to talk to yourself, then just go in the bathroom and stare in the mirror and just talk to yourself. So I do that. Uh, you have to figure out how to bring the value. <laughs> we all do at some point, but <laughs> um, but um, if you know, and the, the really good, talented podcasters, if you listen to their podcast, you're you, if you if you turn off that podcast and you're like, wow, I learned or I learned, yeah, something, learned or, something or 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 some you know some kind of value that was it. to you that you know, then you know that that was a very good show. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. No. So, I don't know if that answers your question. Because I watch some of them, they'd be four or five hours long. Yeah. I got a question. The hand keeps going up over here, though. You think hand going up? What's up, Ivy? Can we, can we? I'm the only one paying attention. Up, can we but get a question? Let, let's, let, let's, get, let's get your question, let's and then question. Uh, we're going to start getting ready to wrap up, because I know we... I was just wondering that, because I did have a multiple question, but just from what you just said, when you said that audience and podcasting, my thing is... How are you able to differentiate if do you feel like they get their demographics authentically or they get it like in a in a fake artificially? Because my thing is on social media you can pursue it one way, but if someone truly knows your personality and if you can display that that same personality you display on social media, you display that shit in person like Cardi B. She displays her personality both ways. You have some that be bougie on social media, but be real goofy and funny as shit in real life. Yeah. yeah. And some demographics don't try to get it. Like with podcasters, you have the ones that are messy, Mm -hmm. but then you have the ones that are, they can probably get into a little mess, but they real about it. And you have the ones that are like just super fake and just ride the wave of what the fuck is really in and really hop on whatever trend that is going on. So I'm saying, how do you differentiate on who you really like? Or is it just like, oh, well, shit, since this one is popping, I'm going to go ahead and just watch them and listen to them when it could be somewhat like as if like y'all all gas, no breaks, mm-hmm. which is still up and coming. But it still is like y'all really not authentic and unfiltered. Yeah, yeah. But yet I'm like, I'm tuned in because it's really authentic and it's real and I can relate. I can be empathetic to a situation. What's empathetic to, to, to a situation? Some people can't tell real from so, fake. So do we, they do, just go with you, it. So, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So I think people got to understand something. Um, you know, I was Thank reading you. this book and it was talking about Rush Limbaugh, before, you know, when he passed away a couple of years ago. But um, Rush Limbaugh, Rush he was Limbaugh. a political commentator. Um, you know, People say yeah, he's racist, all that right. stuff. You, got, you know, when you look at the when you look at some of the people in their journeys, and, and like I'll use radio. Mm-hmm. When you look at where they started and where they become, the, the big stars. Yeah, they weren't they weren't that. They create character caricatures. Yeah, okay. some some of these people are characters, right? Yeah. That they create. That's, Rush Limbaugh wasn't even his real name. He created that character. So mm-hmm. what he was on that show versus yeah. what he was in his real life is two different, completely t- two different people. And um, I think social media, the problem with social media, it blends too much where people think that just because you see somebody on camera acting a certain way that that's how they that's are. That's how they are. You know, Ooh. you know, and I mean, Ooh. it's like my son, when he was a little kid, he, lo- he thought he was Spider-Man, you know, because he watched a lot of Spider-Man. Right. And I think, you know, it's, it's it's crazy that, you know, a lot of adults can't, you know, they can't yeah, differentiate that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think we need to understand that these are, you know, some of your people, some of your favorite podcasters are characters they put yes. on a show. Yes. But that makes them personal. That you know, you got to figure out like 
what you were saying, you got to figure out who your audience is. Yeah. If you know who your audience is and who you're targeting, then you know how to build. Oh, you know how to build the, yeah. the the um the content that they're gonna want. They're gonna want, right? Some people are just that's who they are, mm-hmm. right? And then to other people, they they turn it on when the lights go off. They turn, turn it, it to off. they turn it off, right? Um, and that's why you see like like actors do that, right? You know, you you see yeah. an actor act a certain way on a movie, you think that's how they are, but in real life, they could be really cool or they could be really a shitty person. Um, so I think you know when we're talking when we. When, it's hard when because people know what they're looking for, right? They know what they what entertains them. Me, certain things don't entertain me, so I don't watch it. Certain things really irk the hell out of me, so and I, you know, I'm out here combating against it. Yes. But, um, you know, it irks me, so I don't, I don't entertain that content. I don't feed into it. So it, you really got to just know who you're talking to, and then you figure, you know, if it's a character, then you come up with a character. If you want to be transparent and be yourself, which I think is easier sometimes because. Mm-hmm. You don't have to like turn it on, turn it off. You don't got to yeah. write scripts. I mean, it's all according to what that person is really trying to do and accomplish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, How much work you want to put behind it as well? Exactly. Yeah. I think sometimes though Energy. they do it so much that they start becoming a character too. They have, I, but you got to keep up that facade. But you got and that's work. why so many like that's famous people are yourself. depressed yeah. and they have issues because they have to live a life a certain way and they can't be who they want to be. They end up on body cam. You know, and that's why that's another reason why I say this is not for. Every, <laughs> Yeah, not is. for everybody because there's a lot that comes with it. I know for me doing this two years ago, I wasn't trying. I was just trying to be behind the scenes. I wanted to be in the shadows. I didn't want to be That's how it starts. I didn't want to do it. And it was two two members, me, me, and Africa that were like, "Yo, you got to get out here. You, you got. I didn't want to be the face. I wanted the company to be its own. Yeah. But they were like, "You got to get out there. You got to talk. You got to promote. You got to go to these conferences. You got to do. Who's going to do it? Exactly. I was. I was trying to find me a spokesperson. And who's going to do it like you? You gonna pay him? I was trying to I was trying to figure it all out. Yeah. You gonna pay him? Yeah, but at some point I'm gonna figure out, I'm gonna have a spokesperson. Yeah, but you, but you was gonna but you was gonna but at first before you get to I didn't, that. You know, dollar. it wasn't it wasn't like it was like I had knew I had this problem. Like I I I knew I had a marketing branding problem. Mm-hmm. But I also like now it's like when people ask me to talk about I have to talk about it because I don't like I don't wanna you know, you you've heard me say it, I don't wanna sell me talking about it's like selling the community. Mm-hmm. I rather, so a lot of times I put members on the spots when we're out, and I'll be like, "Yo, talk to you. Got a question? Talk to them." Because I'm going to sell it. I'm never going to talk bad about what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. Know, not a, not publicly or on camera, but right. you know, the biggest um, one I ever seen. <laughs> Yo, shout out to the black but, anyway, but you know, I mean, you get the point. Shout out to the, <laughs> shout out to the pause, <laughs> but it's the best association yes. out there. Yeah, one of the best. It yes. is. It is I love it. I enjoy it. I enjoy uh conversating with you. I, I shout you out for coming out here, man, and taking a long drive and being on the show. I know we, we were talking about this. Get some pizza. We'll go to New York, oh, yeah. get some okay. pizza. Yeah, we got to do a podcast yes, in New do. York. In New York, definitely. We got to do a podcast in New York. Yes. Corey, when I come out there, we out there. We call you. We Not gotta, on 34th. You know, 34th, you said where the pizza's at? Oh, no. I'm not, we're not going there. We're not are going there. You said no. Oh, that's not the, the pizza. Oh, shit. No. That's not the pizza. Oh, my <laughs> that two no. for dollar pizza is not the pizza. I, I didn't know. I didn't want the two for dollar pizza. Like, I said, I live in the DMV now, yeah. baby. Like, I'm on my southern calm. It's those those are tourist traps. Yeah. yeah no. We don't, not we don't like tourist areas. You want to get the authentic pizza. Exactly. Authentic. Man. Corey, thank you for being on the show. Thank I'm happy you're here. Slices. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Oh, I did, definitely. Thank, thank you, man. You. We had a good time having you here. You're dope, dope. You a dope dude. I'm Amazing. Thank, the thank, founder thank with a capital F. Yeah. Capital. Can you, capital say, can you say what it is you do? What's the name of your podcast, your association, everything that you do? What is the name that we should all know? Uh, I mean, I don't have a podcast yet. I'm working on some stuff. I'm actually trying to hold produce on, hold one. Hold on, I thought you do be, you be posting yeah. stuff about, like, Black Podcast Association presents with, like Daniel right now has something out right now. Yeah, I, I mean we do collaborations and stuff, but I don't I do my own was, podcast. I thought, that was a, I thought that was the association's podcast. Nah, uh, nah, uh, we don't have. We're working on that. I'm working on some okay. stuff. That's awesome. I'm I'm on like again behind the scenes. I right. want to be like an yo look content. So you need to you gotta person. own you gotta own the content. Yeah, so I'm working on creating my own shows and stuff. But right. um, well, let me get this BBL. I'll be over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't kill him, no hurt him. It's the Black Podcast yeah. Association. You can yeah. Google us, search us. We're on all major um social media yes. platforms. So you can just reach out to us on there if you have any questions. Man, this guy's us. just super humble. I love us. But please check out the Black Podcast Association. I love it. Not us. the way he just check out the Black Podcast. 
Check out and if you and if you want to join, you got out. to join. If you want to join, go to www.getbpa getbpa.com and sign up. One more time, Please. one more time for the people in the back. www.getbpa.com. That's g e t b p a dot com. Exactly. Please do. You're doing yourself a disservice if you're not. Shout out to my girl Quan over there. Can you please let yes. them know where they can find you at? Yes, I always have a magnum in my pocket. Oh, my shit. name is Quan and Diva Violin. I'm on all the major platforms. And I'm definitely at all gas, no breaks, because I'm everywhere you want to be. Boat. Boat. I'll let you go. Yo, my girl to my left, where you at? Where we can uh, find you at? It's Madam Space, if you didn't know. Now you know I'm your favorite early. In. I'm on all social medias, but. TikTok is where you can find. She on TikTok heavy yeah. now, yo. Find her on TikTok. A super TikTok. Yeah, I'm a TikTok you so after this. Bad. They got my friend. Lord. They, they got me in a shout trap. out to my boy Rex Corolla. Shout out OG me. underscore you know Frank. Saying? Love those guys. Shout out Block Party Block Studios. Party yeah. Entertainment. Entertainment. Block Party, man. Shout them out. Yo, I'm Super Saiyan Santi, but most importantly at AGMB Podcast. Yo, here goes my call to action. Subscribe yes. to the podcast. Step keep up. listening. Keep downloading. Keep doing your thing on social media, and please join the Black Podcast Association. Peace. Peace. Well, all right. Say, sweet what do you know about that all gas, no brakes? Man, I heard about that all gas, no brakes. Don't think they gonna let me on. I ain't got a damn thing to talk about. Ooh, they talk about everything. This is all gas, no brakes. Oh. Give a damn. No, no. On the brakes. Give a damn. No, no. On the brakes. Oh. Give a damn. No, no. On the brakes. Oh. Give a damn. No, no. On the brakes. Huh? What well, up, my boy? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't even started yet. <laughs> Hopefully, recording all this shit. This is some great B roll. That's right there. This is some great B roll. But they can't hear. If he's recording it there, the sound is phenomenal. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. But we all holding our mics correctly. I'm proud of us. Amen. Pause. Yeah. We're waiting for Rex Cowdell. Episode 83, Rex. You say mm. episode 83 if you like.